If you've never played War and Order, now is an excellent time. And if you are playing War and Order, if you've played in the past, now's a really good time to get started on a new realm. Why? Because I'm getting started on 1544. I just created a character over there. I'm going to show you how to get there. If you've never played War and Order, the first thing you're going to want to do is click my link in the description. As my videos go, I'm going to be focusing on two different tracks. One, on the best way to get started, you know, spending guides, um, how to play as a free-to-play player, and grow, and the things you should concentrate on as you build up. Now that I've played for over a year, I kind of know what to do a lot more than when I first started these videos. So I'm able to give a lot better advice and uh, tips and tricks as we go. Now's a great time because I'm gonna be on this new server. You could actually either play with me or against me or at least be on the same realm as me. You can ask me questions and I'm always here to help you. So if you're already playing War and Order, you don't have to click my link. You already have the game downloaded, right? So what do you do? So you go over here, you press your profile over here, you click it, you go to account, you go to new game, confirm. Now in the recent login area, it's gonna have your current realm. So this account right here is in 1381. That's not where I wanna go. I wanna go to 1544, but it's not listed here, right? So what do I do? So I just go to another realm doesn't matter I could even create an account on the same realm that I'm on right now but here we go you're gonna have to go through the tutorial and I'm gonna speed this up all right so now I've made it through the tutorial but I'm not on the right realm right so I'm on 1548 I need to get to 1544 where heretic is so how do I get there so now it's pretty easy you go to your map, then click the overview map, then click the world map. So I'm on 1548, so now I just need to look until I find 1544. I click it, it takes me in there. Wait, and the first thing you need to do is you need to come over here to system and take all your get all your messages and this is going to give you your elite teleport that you need to get over here so now scroll over and find an empty spot hope you know not in someone else's hive not in their area so click out all right so this will be fine go ahead and click teleport so you have this free uh, teleport here click it it's gonna say you know you're gonna descend into realm 1544 and from here on you'll be stuck in 1544 you'll be stuck with me here all right click confirm confirm you're there didn't have to do it twice it just takes a second to load it so now I am in 1544 so the first thing you're gonna want to do is click your profile here change your name I don't know hopefully you pick something cool cooler than you know anything I'm gonna do over here this is gonna be a farm account so I'm just gonna do I don't know if that'll work but <laughs> I think I can't put the space All right, that's fine. Okay, so now I've done that. Then you're gonna wanna go over here to your avatar and you'll wanna change your avatar usually. You don't have to right now, but if you already have an avatar that you use, a picture or whatever, you can do it there. It's pretty easy. It's a nice setup. You already get that um, included with the with the game to be able to do your profile, um, your name, you actually get that in that first, those emails that we took, the name change. So you can't just change your name over and over and over without having to pay for it in gems, um, which you'll get a ton of gems. The good thing about starting a game now too, 
is there's tons of ways to get the resources you need to actually build. Some of them are you have to pay for, but a lot of them are absolutely free. For example, here's some re free resources, not paying a penny. You know, this is a farm. I'm not going to spend any money at all on it. And I'm just going to build it up using all the free stuff you get. So you get over here, there's all these quests that you can do that'll give you free resources and speed ups and all the things you need to do on a farm. You want to get it to about level 15. I'm not going to do that in a day on a farm. It might take me two, three, four days to get to level 15 on a, on a farm. But once I do, I'm going to leave it there at 15 and, and just collect. So then I'm just going to build, um, cavalry troops. Uh, you know, level two. So I would want to upgrade my, my barracks until I can do tier two, which is at level two. Super easy. You want to do that because if you lose them, they don't cost a lot of build. And if it's a farm, you don't want to spend all your resources, right? You don't want to spend all your resources building more cav. And cav are fast That's and they can carry a lot. That's why you want to create them for your farm. The other thing you don't want to do on a farm like I've said before, is you don't want to recruit any castle wall defense, any of your golems. You don't want to do that because then it's going to end up uh, killing the troops that you're trying to use to build it up. You're also going to want to, you know, build a college and build up the development side so that, you know, the farming side um, so that you can get the most out of that. But, you know, that's it. Now's a really, really, really good time. Again, if you haven't played War and Order, it's an amazing game. There's a ton of videos out there. There's a lot of different um, elements of gameplay in here. And I'm level 37. I've played for a year on 1381. There's still new events coming. There's lots of stuff to keep you interested. We just started getting Realm Invasion um, about a month ago. Completely different way of competing against other realms. Elite Wars are amazing. Fortress Wars is probably my favorite event. It's great. There's a, and a Void, um, which is kind of like a kill event, but against other servers, other realms, um, where you can go over there and you can kill and you can take resources. And a Frenzy, which is basically the same thing, but you can't take resources. You get points and you get good rewards, but you can't lose anything in the end on that one. So it's kind of a warm up for Void. So people ask, you know, why did you start over, Heretic? Why did you start over on a new realm? Well, it's pretty simple. You know, at the beginning of the game, there is a ton of fun just building up because it's all brand new people. You don't know really, other than maybe if you, if you went with some friends, other than them, you don't know anyone else in the realm. So it's meeting new people, and then having that build up to that first type of kill event and crown, you know, taking over the whole realm and all of the alliances and the, and the politics involved is a lot of fun. You know, don't get me wrong. Later on, you know, a year, two years down the line, it's still going to be fun because you're going to be doing events. But at, at that point, it's mostly against other realms. So the drama and everything within your realm is going to be a lot less than it is in the very beginning. And so a lot of people do this. A lot of people stay in a realm for a while and then they'll start over. You know, they'll keep their older account like I'm doing. I'm still going to play that account, but I'm also going to be spending time in this in this new realm and building up and going through all of that, you know, all of that stuff that's actually pretty fun. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things in this game that you don't see in other games. A lot of like mini games that you can do, like you could see a little bit of in the uh, in the in the tutorial that I was doing. But you know, like these like castle defense type games. There's there's several of those, and there's another one where you go out and you actually attack other castles in a in a mini game. It's complete mini games. There's f three or four or five of those in here. That that are a lot of fun. It's just like a distraction away from the rest of the game. You know, there's a lot you can do here that's similar to other games. You know, you build up your castles and they get to you know different different cosmetics for for your castles as you kind of build up. Um, later on, you'll be able to actually 
get some in events that look completely different. So they'll look like a, like a Arabian Nights type of uh, castle or there's all kinds of different styles. It, it looks really cool. Anyway, now's a really good time. Remember, 1544. Some of my upcoming videos will actually have gift codes that you can use in them. So stay tuned. All right. Take care.